Who are you? Uh, I'm Grimes. Grimes, welcome to Austin, Texas. <laughs> Thank you. Now, today is a special day, isn't it? Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. And for your birthday, Grimes, I have you a gift right here. What do we have right here for Grimes? Oh, oh, oh thank you. Mariah Carey Fantasy. And why do you like the Mariah Carey Fantasy with ODB, the double 12-inch? This is crazy. This is, thank you. She's my favorite artist, I think, in the world. And it's your birthday today, too, right? Yeah. And the saying is, what you do on your birthday, you do all year round. That, that's what they say? Yeah, so how's the birthday been going? Uh, you were able to get upstairs with celebrity cred, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. What happened exactly? Uh, I didn't pick up my pass, so they didn't want to let us up here. But, you know, then, but then we were like, hey, we're Grimes. And then they were like, okay. That was awesome. How's that happen anywhere else? Um, kind of. I don't know. I sort of like when I go to parties and stuff, I usually try to just make people let me in for free. But it usually works. Did you see me try to get you up there? How did I do? You were doing, you were, that was very pro. That was very like, I need to call your boss. <laughs> and then unfortunately, by me saying I'm Nardwar, it didn't do anything. But you <laughs> said I'm Grimes and it got you up. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Austin, Texas. Thank you. And here we are, Grimes, back together again. Yeah. <laughs> Last year at South by Southwest, remember? Yeah, we played a show, yes. Yeah. At Headhunters with Andrew WK. That was a really cool show. That was sick, yeah. What, what do you remember about that? Um, I don't know. It was just really stressful. All my stuff was like falling over and there's all those people and it was like really crowded and stuff. But it was like, I don't know, it was really fun. And I think it's pretty amazing too. You go from Andrew WK and me, Nardware to Human Serviette, to Fiona Apple opening for you? Well, I think they put her first so that people would like come at the beginning, you know? She's definitely kind of headlining that show. Did you talk to her? What happened? I saw Andrew WK last night, by the way. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah Andrew continues on. Oh, we're all small. Fiona Apple opening for Grimes. Did you see that coming? How the hell? Yeah, that, that, was a really cool, that was a really cool show. The Dream, though, at the end. Did you see that at all? No, I didn't. Man, he sound checked for like an hour and a half and played at two in the morning, and there was like a hundred people there. Like, no one stayed. It was like empty in a church. But you stuck around, no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we are in Austin. Te Texas. I've come all the way down from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada to speak to Grimes from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, right? That's, that's, we could have just been there, but we both came here. Grimes, what can you tell me about the importance of the emergency room in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada? Sick! Whoa, this is classic! Oh my god, um, this is like a really cool venue. Sorry, I've completely lost my voice. Um, I don't know, this was a venue that, I guess it used to exist in Vancouver that would be you know, cool DIY shows and stuff. Um, I don't know, I just saw so many bands here. New Sensei. And the Mutators. Yeah, the Mutators. Uh, turned into myths, kind of, right? Myths, yeah. Oh, man. And petroleum byproducts and stuff. What can you tell people about the scene? It was like a cool warehouse. You went to quite a few gigs there? Yeah. Um, actually, this emergency room was kind of after my time. Um, like, I, le I moved out of Vancouver before that. But, like, whenever I was home for Christmas and stuff, I would, I would go to gigs there. But, I don't know, it's just... A sick place. I mean, it still kind of exists. Like, there's still, like, shows in that vicinity. Like, that alleyway has just sort of been the classic, like, where cool shows happen in Vancouver. But, um, yeah, I don't Vancouver know. Vancouver represents. Yeah. I, and it's hard in Vancouver. There's, like, not a lot of good stuff. It's, like, a really expensive city, and everyone has too many jobs and is really depressed. Because I was kind of thinking, I'm saying Vancouver, 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 Grimes, but I guess there is a bit of Montreal in there. Do we have to give a bit of Montreal to Grimes? Yeah, M M Grimes is more Montreal than Vancouver, I think. You know, Vancouver is like, obviously classic, but like, I haven't lived there for five years. I still think, though, the Grimes, Vancouver influences, like your good friend Dandy Wind. Oh my god, yeah. She's like, Dandy Wind is like, yeah, when I was like, 14, Dandy Wind was like the queen of Vancouver. Were you doing any gigs at that time when you were 14? And where do you remember seeing Dandy Wind? No, I wasn't doing any gigs. I don't know. I, I couldn't get a fake ID, so I could only see her like rarely. Um, I think I saw her probably at like Salem Hall or something. I don't remember, but she was like the craziest show ever. Grimes here in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest. Think independent, right? Yes. You have to think independent. Do it yourself. You're up there all by yourself pretty much on stage, aren't you? Yeah, sometimes I have a band these days. Although we're in a fight right now, so <laughs> they're not playing with me. Why are you fighting? Oh, it's a long story. It's a, you know, failed romance. But basically, think independent. Think independent. What can you tell the people about this particular person right here, Sandy? This is my mother. 
you know, oh, it's a button. Of, I was wondering why you're saying think independent. Yeah, uh, my mom ran for office. I actually don't know what position she was running for. I probably should have paid more attention. I also didn't vote, which makes me feel like an asshole. But yeah, she's a tough lady. She was running for council, and I think she got like 20,000 votes. Like quite a few votes, didn't she? She got she got a lot of votes. Um, she was actually, I don't know, she's a cool lady. I, I really stand for what she's doing. She's like really opposed to the pipeline and like really wanting to put a cap on like the obvious, the crazy rent inflation in Vancouver because that's like fucking over everybody. Like no one can live there. Thank all, the, all these people are getting like kicked out, emergency room. And your mom's on Twitter too, right? What's your mom's name? Uh, Sandy Garcino. Man, it's, yeah, she's always like getting mad at me for when I tweet about doing stuff and she's like, how can you be doing these things? How can you be writing about these things? It sucks. I keep trying to block her, but I think she has other Twitters that she's following me with. She calls you baby girl, my baby girl. Do you like that? I'm okay with that, whatever. How old were you when you first fired a rifle? Mm, maybe like eight or nine. What was that like? That must have been pretty exciting. Yes, that was very exciting. That was That's a big adrenaline rush. I really love uh, shooting guns, yeah. And was that a Vancouver thing, firing a rifle? Where was that happening? Uh, my grandparents are like hermits, and they, uh, they're they really um, worried about the apocalypse, and they live on a mountain in like the middle of nowhere. Uh, and my grandfather just... Well, I shouldn't say too much because I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but um, my grandfather has some very cool I instruments. Uh, but, and, but yeah, he, it was very important that we all learned how to shoot at a very young age. Now, it's your birthday today, isn't it, Grimes? Yes. Happy birthday again. Thank you. And I have another present for you, Grimes. Some skinny... Vancouver represents Skinny Puppy. Two vinyl records by Skinny Puppy. Right. Man, thank you. When did you get into Skinny Puppy? And do you have any of their vinyl? I don't have any of their vi vinyl. I, I mean, I, don't, I just download music. I don't, I don't own music. Oh, I don't... You know, own anything. I don't live anywhere. But um, I got into Skinny Puppy. I don't know, just in high school. There, like, there's always good industrial music in Vancouver. You know, I just love the influences. We have Emergency Room, Dandy Win, Skinny Puppy. A lot of Vancouver influences. Yeah, well, I mean, that's where I grew up. I mean, that's how, where I got into into music. What about Montreal influences. Well, Montreal is crazy because it's like an expat community. You know, it's like everybody. It's people from Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Halifax. You know, and everyone just comes together, and that's, I think, one of the reasons there's really interesting music in Montreal is because there's such a weird combination of influences. Like, there's all the punk kids and, like, the harsh noise kids, but then, like, all the pop kids and all this, you know, everyone approaches shows in a very kind of punk way. Like, everyone gets really fucked up and just, like, goes crazy, but it's, like, bubblegum pop music somehow, you know, really, everyone just is super into songwriting and stuff, but also, like, electronic music, but also, like, you know, doing tons of acid and stuff, so it's, like crazy people come to vancouver too though don't they i don't know if they do some people do well this gentleman does and how does he how does he get all the girls i don't know mike. blood diamonds who is this please explain one of my best friends mike tucker blood diamonds we made make some music together and stuff but he's like um very popular with the ladies like he's very smart and like overly confident he always says i'm on a pillar to the sky you know he, he he's gonna be very famous He's into K-pop too, isn't he? Yes, he's he's very into K-pop. And he's not from Vancouver, is he? No, he's from Kansas. So Kansas to Vancouver. Yeah, I guess, but he's like the only person that ever did that. Like he's like the only person that moves to Vancouver. How about the promo pick? Kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually working with him. Like we we want to make a really strong image for him. I think he should always have tons of tons of girls all around and stuff. He only wears black. He only wears like a black suit, and he's like six eleven or something. He's like massive, huge guy. Who is Duffy? <laughs> Duffy is my muse, and he also runs the cult that I'm um in. I remember of I'm the high priestess, uh, and it's a surrealist cult um that is completely centered around bureaucracy. So you can never you can never do anything because you're constantly doing paperwork. Um, but he's also, he dances for me a lot. Uh, um, I don't know, he's just, he's just crazy. And lastly, Grimes, what's the importance of bulldogs? Um, I don't know, I have like a special feeling about bulldogs. I, I don't know, they give me like power. Uh, although they're not, it's not my spirit animal, which is the hyena or, and or the beluga, but I, I, I grew up with this um, dog named Ginger. She was actually a pug, but like we had a really, really intense bond. I'm actually going to get her name tattooed on me soon. But, um, she, and she died a really horrific death. But she, you know... How did she die? <sighs> she died of like, like 
<laughs> like an anal infection. <laughs> it was really like sad. She was like shitting everywhere and like convulsing. Um, I like want to cry when I think about it. But uh, yeah, she was like my best friend and she was like just so fat and like had such a wrinkly face and whenever I see all those wrinkle wrinkly dogs boxers bulldogs pugs french bulldogs yeah why should people care about crimes why should people care because it's the future of music futuristic music well thanks much crimes keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 loot do 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 <laughs> <laughs> Should I just keep standing here? Did, did I just fuck up the shot? Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's like so beyond awkward that it's just not awkward. Should I leave? <laughs>